Okay, Control APT or CAPT or CAPT is a speed advisory system that was put into the advanced passenger train sets to advise the driver on how fast they could go because the APT was capable of travelling faster than conventional trains with its tilt system. So in the driver's cab, the CAPT screen is this bit in the centre that says maximum, maximum speed 25 miles per hour because this was the maximum speed the APT could travel in passenger service. In testing, it was capable of travelling up to 140 miles an hour. So CAPT worked by having transponders fitted to the track and the train would pass over the transponders and the transponders had information in them that would flag up a speed on the screen here. So let's say the transponder wanted the train to go at that, say, 100 miles an hour. Then the transponder would send the information to the train about the speed and then 100 would appear in this sensor bit here on these three panels to the right. If the APT came up on a junction, then a J would appear on the far left. Until the train passed the junction, then the J would disappear. So, in the scenario editor, if you go to the tracker, tracker infrastructure tab, you can get the CAPT transponders. You've got junction end, junction, start and stop. So to kick off APT, so to activate APT, you need to place down this transponder mark, this transponder trigger. So it looks like this tiny little grid here, so you can spin it around and line it up with the track. It would help if I actually rotate it the right way. There we go. So it looks like this, see APT with a green arrow. So you can lift this up. Carry it over and place it down on the track. Like so, this will activate APT, or activate C APT, and it will carry on until you reach a stop um, trigger. Okay, near Paul Midi, there's a junction that goes to the right, so C APT will actually inform the driver of this junction, but because the train would be going on the up fast, the driver, the train would just go straight on, and the CAPT would advise the driver of the junction anyway. So the CAPT uh, triggers they do have a junction start and a junction end. So the junction start, I don't know. There's probably a certain distance that the CAPT would advise the driver of the junction depending on the speed change. But for this video, um, just going to put the uh, junction marker, say, about here. So, uh, first thing we want to do is click on this junction trigger. Spear around, so it's the right way around. Place down the trigger like that, so CFPC with a junction. So, I'll lift it up, place it down on the track, I'll place it over the track, and then place it down. So this will uh, show a J on the CAPT in the far left column. So after you've passed the junction, you want to turn the J off because the train has passed the junction. So once, uh, what you want to do is go over here to junction end. As you see, it has a different symbol. It has a different symbol to the other trigger. So spin around, pop it down like that. So it has a different symbol where the two lines come together. So lift it up, place it over the track, and place it down. Like that. So this this will turn the J off as the train has as the train has passed the um, junction. Okay, let's say you wanted to stop using APT, so you want to turn it off. Let's say you were coming into a station like. Preston, London, Crew, Glasgow, Carlisle, I want to turn off. So what you need to do is go to the CPT transponder stop, spin it around, put it down the right way first, Put it down like that, drag the transponder over and raise it up. And place it down in a neat fashion. And this will turn off CAPT so you won't get the um, speeds anymore.
Because the APT was capable of going faster than conventional trains, it had its own speed limit, which you would want to recreate in TS. So to change the speed limit, to change the speed limit of the track, you want to go up here to select. Then you can highlight the track like this. So at the moment, the speed limit on this bit of track is 75. The APT was capable of going faster than this. So let's say 90. So you highlight this bit of track. Let's say you want to, to for the, for the video purposes. Let's go as far as the CAPT end. So I want put I want to put the speed limit to 90. So you put 90 in here, 90 in there. So this is the primary speed limit. This is the speed limit for passenger trains. This is the secondary speed limit. The speed limit for freight trains. And here you can mess about with other bunch of stuff. So to save changes to save changes to the track, all I have to do is click off the track. And there you go, the changes are saved. So if I highlight this bit, the speed limit is 90 instead of 25. So in the APT, in the cab, first thing, first thing you want to do to set it up is to insert the master key with shift M. Put the reverse to work deliveries by pressing W. Resetting the AWS. Cancelling CAPT. Instrument lights. Take a look outside. The headlight is on. Uh, check if we have a pad, but this is a free roam, free roam scenario that I just plugged down. So I'm going to go this way. This way. Yeah, that's fine. So put the reverser to forward, it's brake, and take power. Oh, you to take power, you have to, you have to wait for the brake to release, otherwise you get a traction fall. Oh yeah, because of the APT power cars, they had, I think it's 4,000 horsepower per power car, and, and we've got two of them. So the APT it is a very, very, very powerful train. So if you had two, if you had two power cars, then your total power will be eight thousand horsepower. Okay, so coming up on the CAPT start trigger. So the APT has come up with a thirty miles an hour uh, speed on the dashboard. This means the train can travel at 30 miles an hour. Now the train can travel at 75 miles an hour, so we can put the power to not 7. So because there's a junction coming up to the right and to the left, the J has appeared. And when we pass those junctions, when we, when we go over the junction Junction end marker or trigger, the J will disappear. Like so. And when we pass the CAPT stop trigger that I put in, the the uh, CAPT system will go out. So that is how you use CAPT in the story editor. So I hope this, I hope you found this video helpful. So yeah, CAPT it is fairly straightforward in how you set it up. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Like the video if you're so inclined. Subscribe for more interesting content. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.